So now I will show you how to compute lift, lifting plan. But this is only basic. Uh, basic lifting plan from 0 to 10 ton. I will show you how to fill up this. So first of all, the name of the project, for example, uh, Metro Project. This is only sample, Metro. Metro. Company name. What is our company name? Tatai. Company. Location. Let's say parking. Date. And it's very important here to know what is the material that we are trying to lift. We give example for... Uh, lifting of the bars, lifting of bundle of the bar, bundle. Okay. of the bar. Approximately, the bundle of the bar here in our workplace is around two ton per bundle. But if if you are not sure if the if this material is two ton, you can all uh, you can always conduct a uh, what's this lift test to ensure that the that the weight of the material is exact uh, in the in your permit. So f example that we are using the Sunny SRC three fifty crane. So, type of crane capacity, so Sunny SRC 350, the, so capacity, the Sunny SRC 350 capacity is 35 ton, 35 ton. Here in the additional detail, uh, you can also input here the plate number, the operator's name. So we are we are now lifting two ton. So we we will go now to the load chart of this one. I will uh, again the load. If you are not you don't have a copy of the load chart, you can always uh, search uh, the load chart in the internet. If you don't have internet, the load chart is always placed in the inside the cabin of the crane. So this is the sunny SRC, and we are now lifting two ton. <coughs> so two ton, we put here the maximum load of the weight is two ton. We will add the weight of the rigging lifting hook block. The hook block is around 500, uh, 500, 500 ton, 500 kilo. So the total total weight of the load will become 2.5. Now let's go to the load chart. This is the the load chart of the Sunny SRC 350. The specification of the cranes here. So let's go to the load chart. The load chart uh, we are lifting now the 2 ta 2.5 tons so we will find here uh, above uh, 2.5. Let's let's try the what's this? The 3 to 2 at 27.43 meter. So 2.5 divided by 3.2 equal 78%. So not bad. So we will use this one, the 27.43. This is the boom. This is the boom length in meter. Here, at, at, at here, the, this side is the radius. The radius, we will use uh, radius... 18.3 meter by 27.43 radius. So let's go back again to our 
to our what's this permit so so boom length is what's how how much is that 27.43 27.43 meter <coughs> counterweight the counterweight of this unit is uh is fixed fixed unit that's why we will put here fix boom length uh boom length on the lapper fly the lapper fly the lapper lapper or fly or the extension of the crane we are not using that one in this lift so you can put this one in a maximum radius radius we are using the radius of 18.3 18.3 meter and outrigger centers you can get the outrigger center here in the specification of the crane outrigger center span of the outrigger transverse times longitudinal is 6.15 by 6.15 so 6.15 by 6.15 so this one the crane capacity at maximum radius will equal to so we are oh, where's the one wait 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 So we are using the three two three two two zero. Uh, three two two zero. We are putting here three point two. So what will be the result? Uh, point seventy eight. Point seventy eight percent. Or you can times this one to one hundred. It will become to seventy eight percent. 78% plus the number of lifting points if we if we go back here to our description of lift bundle of three bars so the number of lifting points here is only two point <coughs> where is my pen so if this is if this is our bundle of three bar we will only subdivide this one into three parts one point two point and three point the two point and third point here is the position of your uh lifting belt so it will take uh, it will be balanced your rebar will be balanced so we are already have we already finished the first page next the second page if we are using if you are not using shackles then na nylon web sling if you are using nylon web sling you put the serial number on this web sling you take the uh what's this you take the certificate of your nylon web sling and you attach that one into your permit also you input here the capacity if you are using the steel wire rope you put the serial number and the capacity if not you put in a steel chains you put serial number and so on and so forth for this type of if you are using this type of lifting gears lifting eyes lifting links tailing hook up spreader beam and wait and this checklist take note for a crane that is fitted with a safe load indicator with overload cut off is the total load less than 85 percent so we get here 78 percent so it is allowed for those do not have a safe load indicator what are the example of this crane for example boom trucks don't have like this for example uh, side lifters don't have a safe load indicator so we always put in the our computation up to 75 percent only <coughs> so here the signatories uh lifting supervisor of the rigger one 
signature, crane operator signatures, rigger signatures, and the uh, manager and the uh, manager signature. In case that have trouble, uh, four of you will go to prison. <laughs> so you are not lonely in the in the prison cell. So that's all for our of our to how to make a lifting plan. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here 